What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. As we continue our test of the OnePlus 2, I got a ton of questions about the Snapdragon 810. If the rumors of it overheating or the processor getting really hot were true, so I figured what better way to do that than to actually test not only a 10 processor, but the 10 processor in different phones and different iterations, as well as a ton of other devices running different processors with different screen sizes and made of different materials. So here is what we did. We took seven phones, it's sort of a smattering of flagships. We didn't use every one, but seven that I thought was a nice sample uh, of all the devices. So we used the LG G4, powered by the Snapdragon 808, and that does have a 2560 by 1440 resolution. Uh, the LG G Flex 2, which uses the Snapdragon 810, that's 1920 by 1080. We brought in Samsung's Galaxy S6 using their own Exynos 7 series, and that has a 2056 by 1440 resolution as well. The Nexus 6, which has a Snapdragon 805 and also 2560 by 1440. The HTC One M9 using a Snapdragon 810 that has a 1080p screen. Uh, the iPhone 6 using Apple's A8, which is 1344 by 750. Then of course the OnePlus 2, which is 1920 by 1080, using a tweaked version of the Snapdragon 810. So a few caveats to keep in mind here. Uh, obviously screen size, resolution, build material uh, are going to depend how hot things are gonna get. And obviously processors are different locations. So we did five quadrants on each phone. The upper left corner, the upper right corner, the bottom left corner, the bottom right corner, and the middle. We ran the same video in pairs. It was a nine minute video and as soon as that ended, we did heat tests and we did an average score to get the average temperature that that phone was running. All phones had screen brightness turned all the way up, volume turned all the way down and we just let them play. We had no apps running uh, on any phone except for YouTube that was playing that one video. So without further ado, let me give you the results of our test. And before I do, maybe pause the video and think to yourself what you think the hottest phone is going to be. We did it here and uh, none of us got it right. If you guys wanna see the whole actual test, see how it ran, uh, just wait till the end of the video and we'll put that there so you can actually see for yourself how all this ran. So coming in at number seven, the hottest phone was the metal Snapdragon 810 Rockin' HTC One M9 with a temperature of 89.6. Number six was the LG G4, the temperature of 88.8. .8. Number five, the iPhone 6, the temperature of 88.2. Number four, the LG G Flex 2 with the Snapdragon 810 coming in at 85.8. Number three, the Nexus 6 with a heat score of 85.0. And number two, the OnePlus 2, 84 degrees. And the coolest phone out there is the Samsung Galaxy S6 at 83.8 degrees. And it seems the heat issue that people thought was with the A10 doesn't seem to be present. Perhaps an initial batch of chips uh, had some issue with them, but it seems the one that made it out to the mass populace uh, does not have any sort of overheating issues. So what do you guys think of the test? Do you want to see us do this with more phones? We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, we're always working to refine our processes, so of course we'll leave comments down below. We try to make this as fair and impartial uh, as possible. So to conduct this test, we have our laser thermometer grip, B to this point, and it'll digitally tell you a temperature. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to test seven different phones uh, with some varying processors, some the same, to see if there's difference from phones to phones. Obviously, we didn't want to pick every single flagship. We just wanted a sampling of uh, some of the flagships out there. So let's start with LG's. We've got the G4, the Snapdragon 808. I should mention screen resolution is going to be different on some of these, so we'll see if that's going to result in a higher test. You've got 2560 by 1440 on the G4, and its little brother, the G Flex 2, with the Snapdragon 810 and a 1920 by 1080 screen. Uh, no other apps are running here uh, at all. We've got the brightness turned all the way up and volume turned down, just so I don't really bother everybody here in the office, and I'll show you this one. It has nothing else running uh, as well. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start play. The video we're gonna play is a almost exactly an animated video that we did. Uh, that's why I switched carriers. So we'll go ahead and let these play, and we'll move in uh, the next two when the video is done. At just about nine minutes, we'll do a temperature test uh, on them. So we'll push those over to the side. Let's bring in our next two, uh, which is going to be the Galaxy S6 and the Nexus 6. So. The Galaxy S6 is running uh, Samsung's Exynos processor, it's the 7 series, and the Nexus 6 uh, is running a Snapdragon 805, both with 2560 by 1440. Uh, so we'll show nothing else is running in the background there. We'll do the same uh, on this guy, just so everybody is aware that it's a level playing field. We'll go ahead and uh, hit play on each. both almost exactly the same time. 
Uh, we'll push these two guys uh, back in, and we'll bring out uh, our next two. We've got. Uh, so next, we've got the HTC One M9 and the iPhone 6. The M9 is running a Snapdragon A10 in 1920 by 1080. The iPhone 6 is running Apple's A8, and that's 1334 by 750. Uh, let me just show you again that no other apps are running here on both phones. So we got it, HTC. Put that one back. Back full screen. Here's the iPhone. Nothing else is running, uh, save for YouTube. Go ahead and push play on each. And last, but definitely not least, we've got the OnePlus 2 uh, with a slightly tweaked version of the Snapdragon 810 uh, and a 1920 by 1080 screen. Go ahead and uh, shrink this and show you that indeed nothing else is running uh, on here as well, except for YouTube and that video. Uh, again, the nine minute Y switch carriers video. Push play on that. Push this guy in frame there. It's all facing the same direction. Uh, and uh, we will let them play. These two start at the same time with the same ad, so we're just gonna let them run. Uh, they'll end at exactly the same time, so at least it's uh, uh, time at least the same. Um, all right, so we're gonna let all these play, and uh, when the nine minutes are up, we'll do our five quadrant test, and we'll check the temperature. Yep, all right, we're testing in G4. Upper left corner, 90. Upper right corner, 89. I'm just gonna round to the closest temperature. Bottom left, 88. Bottom right, 89. Middle, 88. G-flex. Upper left, 88. Upper right, 88. Bottom left, 82. Bottom right, 85. Middle, 86. Okay, let's go. S6. Upper left, 86. Upper right, 85. Bottom left, 82. Bottom right, 82. Middle, 84. Next is six. Upper left, 87. Upper right, 87. Bottom left, 83. Bottom right, 83. Middle, 85. You can really tell the processor is not so starts. All right, M9, upper left, 90. Upper right, 90. Bottom left, 90. Bottom right, 88. Middle, 90. iPhone 6, upper left, 90. Upper right, 89. Bottom left, 87. Bottom right, 87. Middle, 88. Upper left, 86. Upper right, 87. Bottom left, 81. Bottom right, 81. Middle, 85.